Hey, Louise, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello. Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, I, 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 I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right! Luis, get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Can you take us out to Gracie's house? Some Babbage Drive. Gracie, what's up? Don't, what the fuck is it with Louise? I mean, he'll try to bang anything with a pussy, but it's Mr. Lipstick when I'm around. I don't know, maybe it's your charming turn of phrase, or your demure, almost nun-like manner. What is up with that, Louise? Sorry, Gracie, you're my type, so can you let me be a Lipstick in peace? Having a pussy is your type, Lou. Tell me what's wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with you, if you like really loud guidettes. Please, fuck you. Hey, look, I stopped dealing with monster brats after Danny Lupicella tried to get her daddy to cut my balls off. Call me an asshole, but that was it for me. I know where you're coming from. The shit I got into after my night of indiscretion with Roy Zito. Oh, trying to claim I spiked his drink. Roy Z's a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this. Bitch behind the wheel! Tony, your extreme queeniness is starting to rub off on the employees. Look, Gordon, Tom, what are we doing out of Gracie's house? We're paying a oh, visit. Shit, don't we got other problems right now? Come on. Now that you mention it, there is another issue. That fucking nebbish, the Celebinator. Oh my god, I just love that guy's blog. Well, that guy's blog don't love us. What happened? He's talking shit like it's going out of fashion. So what? He thinks he's the only guy with a mouth on the fucking internet? This is something we don't need right now. Oh, no one comes to our summer party in the Caraways. Chill out, bro. First of all, the summer's a long way off. And second, we shouldn't be having no party in the Caraways with our financial situation. This guy could sink us. Listen to him, Lou. The Celebinator is real influential. Relax, bro. We'll send them a basket. It'll be cool. It's fucking blackmail with these guys. He got left off a list somewhere, so it's our livelihoods at stake. Yo, all right. I'll check him out. What's his site? I'll send you a link. Will you drop us off and go do it now? But that means Louise won't be able to see the inside of my place. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely do it now. Shit, Lou. Another time. Oh, yeah, sure, babe. Some other time. Thanks, Luis. Call me when you've emailed that dreadful blogger.
Welcome. Don't spill shit on the computers. One more, Mr. Blogger. It's on. like his sight. Yeah, I can't believe people read that shit. No wonder we didn't let that bucktooth bastard in. But you schmoozed him, didn't you? I was my most charming digital self. Like one of them internet vigilantes pretending to be 12. Thanks, El. Let's see where it goes. Why do you always call my mobile? 